But I got to ask you about the contact with Chase Briscoe. What happened there, in your opinion? Well, I, I thought our Reem Super was really, really fast all day long, and we were really good first and second stage, and then the third stage, I just, for whatever reason, got a little bit tight and couldn't keep up with those guys. So uh, the 98 was really fast, and I was going to let him go as, as soon as he got beside me, and, and then whenever we got into the chicane, he didn't leave me any option besides run me off the racetrack. So uh, at that point, I was just going to race him back as hard as I could. So at that point, did you think that you were going to be fine? Did you know NASCAR, that was a penalty to go over where you went? Well, I knew it was a penalty to miss the chicane, but there was a clause in there in the driver's meeting where if you missed the chicane due to an incident, uh, NASCAR would review it. And I figured that uh, me getting run off the racetrack and having no other option was a uh, justifiable reason, but I guess not. Okay, Chase said he thought he gave you enough room. Obviously, he hasn't seen the replay yet. You two are close friends. How will you handle that moving forward? Uh, I mean... I don't know. We don't. We haven't ever had any issues before. So he's a hard racer. I'm a hard racer. If he has a problem with it, uh, he can come ask me my opinion. But that's that. There you go, Christopher Bell, heading on to Dover. Obviously, already advanced with a big win at Richmond. But his thoughts on the contact with uh, Chase Briscoe a little bit earlier.